What's going on, YouTube? I know, I know, I know. It's been a while, but I'm back. Y'all gotta excuse me, you know? I be busy, but I promise you guys, like, I'm gonna be more consistent. But I really do appreciate everybody subscribing and rocking with me. Like I said, I call my subscribers scribers. Y'all my scribers, y'all rocking with me, y'all my day ones. I appreciate that, right? But yo, check it out. Hold on. I pull my phone out, right? So look, I was on Motor Trend. And I seen this crazy topic, right? And I said, you know what? I'm going to do a different type of video that i never done before. And check this out. On Motor Trend, they got an article, right? It says, Bullet Riddle 2023 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat, right? So pretty much there's a 2023 Hellcat Durango right now being auctioned off. And it got low miles, low miles. I, I think it's really a good deal. There's only one problem. You know, it got a couple war wounds on it, you know, a couple blemishes. And I know y'all probably like, well, Roadrunner, what are you talking about? What do you mean it got blemishes? Well, it got a couple bullet holes in it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the article up here, you know, as I'm talking, you know, and, and, and y'all can kind of read along with me type type of thing. But yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah, it got little bullet holes, but it got low miles. And, and, and I'm sitting here thinking, I'm like, how this happen? Right? How, how, you know, I'm, and, 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 and no one knows the story. So I'm reading the article or whatnot, you know what I'm saying? The insurance auto auctions. It's a treasure. That's what they said. It's a treasure. This is a good deal, right? It's a good deal. They said that this SRT supercharged is riddled with bullets. Go figure. The windshield. I mean, down there, every window shot out. Every window shot out. The passenger door has one small deep dent. Could be from a bullet that failed to penetrate. So, you know, I guess he probably had some hollow tips and they couldn't go through the, you know, couldn't go through the frame of the, of the car, which is good. Dodge, that's good. You know what I'm saying? Protecting people. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, how could this happen? It only had 300 and let me, hold on, let me read it. It only had 386 miles on it. So this is a last call, 2023, 386 miles on it, right? So I, I got to thinking, I said, well, maybe, you know, I said, maybe, you know, the guy got, you know, someone bought the car, last call, you know, probably was you know posting pictures on the gram you know what i'm saying and maybe a little baddie was like liking it like oh oh i would love to be passenger princess right and i said maybe you know you know maybe do say okay cool you know maybe i could like you know do the old playbook where you you know you only drive out 300 mile radius you know what i'm saying 150 out 150 back you know about like six seven hours you disappear you know not too bad so i'm thinking maybe he hit dm shorty and like they they, they set up a a bible study meet you know what i'm saying something like that and he drove down there and you know he probably was kicking it with her and then you know and after exploring creation yeah yeah, yeah after exploring you know creation and how we got here maybe may, may, you know maybe like the the old hating boyfriend came out and just started blicking or something and, you know shot the car up and he had to get up out of there. That, that's like the only thing I could think of, right? And, and it's crazy because it, it's it's such a bad reputation with the Mopars, you know. And I ain't going to lie, in the article, it said it was recovered by theft. So I'm thinking maybe the owner just ditched the car and then someone took it. It was a good Samaritan and, and just, you know, left it, left it somewhere. You know what I mean? Because we got to change the narrative with the Mopars. Everybody... You know, there's so much negative stuff. So that, that's that's what I that's what I think. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what happened. You know, I think that's what happened, man. You know, or or the other scenario could be, you know, maybe someone dropped the keys, in in a good in a good Samaritan. You know, walked by, picked it up. You know, and um, uh, he picked it up, and you know what I'm saying, and and um, do this. You know, was trying to take it to the owner that that's what i think or oh, the local police station yeah yeah something like that and maybe he just drove through in in, in a local turf war and just happened to got the car damaged a little bit with bullet holes you know it's anything can happen you know so 
when I read this story, I said, damn, man, this is crazy. This is like a Indiana Jones, like, discovery. When you find a car that hasn't even hit the break in. It's not even at 500 miles. 386 miles. And it's got a couple war wounds. That's it. Just nothing that can't be fixed. You know, nobody worry about that. You know, supercharger, everything's still intact. And I said, man, I wonder what happened. And it's, it's just one of those things where you just sit back and you think, like, dang, if only the car could talk, if only the speakers could speak like fucking Bumblebee on Transformers, what would it say? So I said, you know, I'm going to do a different type of video. And I'm just going, I, I want to see what my scribbles think. I, I'm curious to hear what you guys think will happen. Like I said, 2023 Dodge Durango. Yeah, yeah, let me read it again. 2023 Dodge Durango, you know, in good shape. Except the bullet wounds and the windows shot out. But good shape. Supercharged, everything good. And and I just wonder what would happen. What what, what you guys think happened? Bottom of it, right? But yeah, man, um, that's all I got for you. Motor Trend, that's the story. 2023 Dodge Durango Hellcat last car got shot. Shot up. 386 miles. They ain't even hit the break in. And you can go look the story up. And if you guys want it, it's at the auction. Y'all can get it. But... What if that car could talk? Mm -mm -mm. What if, would it say? Damn. Mm. Well, that's all I got for y'all, man. I appreciate the support. And I'm going to make sure I try to be more consistent. You know, drop these videos. You know, we are a new channel. And I am just want to say I'm very, very, very grateful for every comment I get, every like I get, every subscriber. You know, y'all my subscribers. Y'all rocking with me. So I really appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Uh, y'all be safe out there. And we is out.